Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here with another warning. I asked the Lord, and the thing that came to my mind was the word rape. Now listen, a lot of us have been victimized by rape, by date rape. Some of you have been victimized by violent rape, molestation, whatever the case. Somebody just overpowering you and having their way with you, whether they be relative, friend, or foe. However, God does put something in us to warn us at times. Sometimes we're not sensitive to it, but I really do believe there's that little something that doesn't feel right. And if we're hesitant, maybe we just should say no. Even if it's a convenience, if we see it as something that should be a good thing, if it doesn't feel all that good, yeah, just pass it by. You live without it. So I say that to say, you young ladies and you young boys, you watch yourselves around relatives, around adults, teachers if need be, whatever. Be very careful because they're singing incantations and all kind of, uh, of um, I'm trying to think of the word, they the, the, the people who worship evil are conjuring up all kind of stuff so they can wreak havoc. And you do not want to partake in their nonsense. But they would have you do it because they're, the, Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That's God's word. That's what it says about Satan. Okay. Now, Jesus comes to give us life and that more abundantly. So we have to be careful about what we give into, especially when it's in the gray area and it seems harmless. Well, be careful. <coughs> I got raped one time, excuse me, uh, in Los Angeles doing something. My father <coughs> had clearly warned me. He warned me not to do it. He said, if you ever get invited to a party, and everybody's going to be there. And they'll pick you up and take you themselves. You ask around that place and find out if anybody knows about the party first. And if nobody knows anything, you pass that bad boy up. And you get your heels to clicking. Because what happened to me was exactly what my father said would happen. I ended up being the only party there. And at gunpoint, I got raped. Now, it wasn't my fault, but it wasn't like I wasn't warned. And I'm here to warn you. You be very careful who you hang with, especially folks you don't hardly know. You be careful about that. Because folks will do, they will do the most bizarre stuff. Especially if they're drinking or under the influence of anything. And during this season, it can get real weird and real deadly. You be careful. It's, it's, it's a little dangerous out there right now. You might need to stay your little hiney home. You're not missing out. Life goes on. There's life after a party. And some parties you do not need to go to. You hear me? So if Mama Sita says don't go, and you go anyway, and stuff hits the fan, you have no one to blame but yourself. Because when you come out of dis when you come out of safety through an act of disobedience, you're out of the ark of God's safety as well. Accidents happen. People get killed. You might get maimed for life trying to have a little fun, trying to be accepted, trying to fit in. Be very careful. I'm done again.